Welcome to another MRCOG video from ACE Courses. This video is on the management of patients with thyroid disease in the perioperative period. I'm pleased to say that this video was shot in a small village library in the north of Sri Lanka in a place called Valalai. The contents of this video are covered in our book, Obstetric and Gynecologic Surgery, Challenges and Management Options. It's well worth a read, and any profit from this book will go to support healthcare providers in Africa and in Asia. So you would also be doing good in that way. So in terms of perioperative care and thyroid disease, there are three conditions that you need to be aware of. Hyperthyroidism, hypothyroidism, and goiter. In terms of hyperthyroidism, the key issue to be aware of is that surgical stress in uncontrolled or undiagnosed thyroid toxicosis can lead to a life-threatening condition called thyroid storm, which is characterized by hyperthermia, tachycardia, sweating, and dyspnea. If not managed properly, it can lead to heart failure or cardiac arrest. In terms of chronic hypothyroidism, that can also be associated with problems. Problems such as cardiac failure, a difficult airway, hypothermia, and aspiration due to delayed gastric emptying. A goiter can be associated with airway obstruction. The key principle here is to optimize the thyroid dysfunction before the patient undergoes the surgery. You should obviously involve endocrinologists and the anesthetists and aim for regional anesthesia if at all possible. In terms of thyrotoxic patients, they could be started on beta blockers, unless of course that is contraindicated, and antithyroid medication such as propylthiouracil or carbimazole. Plasmophoresis may be useful. The aim here is to reduce the resting heart rate to less than 90 beats per minute. What would you do if a patient develops thyroid storm? Well, the first step is to give oxygen through face mask and then cool the patient with ice bags. Then you need to give hydrocortisone 100 to 300 milligrams intravenously. You will also need to give propranolol, one milligram IV boluses, and you can give this up to 10 milligrams. Digoxin can be used if there is fast AF. And any electrolyte imbalance and dehydration will need to be corrected. How will you manage a hypothyroid patient? The patient should receive T3 in addition to T4, and steroid cover should be considered because of the risk of unmasking adrenal insufficiency. Patients with goiter should undergo anesthetic assessment as well as radiological investigations to assess for the risk of airway obstruction. I hope you found this video helpful for your exam and of course for your clinical practice and until we meet again on another video, goodbye from Balalai from the north of Sri Lanka.